Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald and uh, today we are going to Slayport City or at least the beach there but I'll put all semis up in front and I'll give Fat Buster the experience here because Fat Buster is in level 11 and I'm just going to attach the experience here to uh, Fat Ballstar and then we're going to sail to uh, Slayport City because that's the next next destination. Actually, after you it, or uh, you can uh, actually get to pa Slayport City whenever you want. So you can train there before you take on Brawly because that will make it much easier. But I wanted a challenge, so yeah, and he was a really tough challenge. Yeah, let's do it! Take a long time to make. You can add this and you'll see a soft sand, soft sand which increases the power of ground type moves. And over here, here we have the trainer, first trainer on this page. That anchors in porch. Okay. See, I sped up all the battles in here. Just so, just so I could uh, fit it in the time limit. And good thing I gave uh, our Themis Rock Tomb because it, it will get in handy with this uh, flying type Pokemon. And the Fat Buster goes to level 12. And I'm just going to stay in for some weird racing against this matchup. But uh, yeah, Nature Power gets Earthquake in the sand, and that's just awesome. So I'm just going to finish off with another Earthquake. Uh, yeah. And matchup goes down. You're the best! Yeah, I'm the best. But uh, I'm not going to get too cocky because whenever I get too cocky, I get critted. Over here, we have ourselves a double battle I figure. Well, with me? Uh, no, not you. That I won. So I'm pretending to swim. So you can't swim, but you're pretending to swim. Okay, Edmund and Haley have a Meryl and a Wingle. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for Fat Ballstar and our semis. Just going to go for a Bullet Eater Meryl and hopefully take it out in one hit. Of course I only hit two times. It's going to wing attack me. It's not going to do a whole lot. It's going to tail with me. Which doesn't really matter. It's going to scratch the wing all and then go for a bullet hit on Meryl. And uh, may hopefully take it out. Yes I do. Good work out of Themis. Would have been better if you hit four times with the first bullet hit. And Fat Boss is just looking around. Going to go for Rockton, but of course I miss. It's going to growl me. And I hit. And Scratch doesn't do a whole lot, but I hit with Rogtum this time and takes out the Wingull. So now I defeat uh, these trainers. Uh, are you sleeping or something? You're like the human world's Snorlax, basically. Or you're like Snorlax of the of mankind. And on this zigzag moon, I'm just going to go for an earthquake or nature power and get, then get the earthquake. But of course, it has to live, live with life 1 HP. And I'm just going to finish off with the bullet, bullet seed. And the zigzag moon goes down. Roan. Okay. Yeah, sure. Maybe not. Uh, let me see. So to this little girl over here. Go, oh, trainers! Chapter uh, Tower. Cool cat not. Pa pa Papa stop spot and over here you can grab a potion and potions is always nice and down here I think yeah these people are hiding like a no it doesn't look like a giant flower it just looks like a giant umbrella you're in a truby strong no I thought it was I thought it was uh, a triangle uh, I sped up this spell four times because it was just really annoying. Because of that reason, it used charm, so now it lowers my uh, attack. They actually poisons me with poison thing. And I'm just going to pick that tentacle and take it out finally. And our famous group level 17, and Fat Buster group level 13. And now he's got to charm my Fat Buster, and I'm just going to leave Fat Buster in to die, unfortunately. But I'm going to bring in Hardhead now and see if Hardhead hard can't do anything. He's going to double kick and throw it and take it out. Out comes another sewer, and of course he's going to confuse Hardhead, but I hit it with the middle slap and take it out. Now he's going to double kick that sewer and take it out, so that was a really annoying battle. Mommy! 
Me? I'm here every single day. Don't you have school? No, whatever. Ah! Why do I keep saying that word? She don't doesn't go in school because she's the under the age of five, I think, in, in six, maybe. I don't remember what it is in America. But this is Japan, and I don't remember, and I don't know either when they start in school in Japan. So yeah, I don't know. Probably like at five or six years old. But we're going to going to this uh, hot spot that that little girl said about. A great Pokemon are, but don't cry. No, you don't cry when you get beat up by the awesomeness of Hardhead. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it it live with like one HP, but it just is tear with such a really matter. It's going to take out with a moveset, and of course it gets a freaking crit now when I just need it. And Harder go to level 13 and wants to learn Metal Claw. And uh, yeah, that's great. And M Meryl just going to go for a headbutt because that's the best thing I can do, I guess. Meryl is going defense card, which is really annoying. And I get a freaking crate, which actually matters. Good good job, Harder. Good job. And I actually think that was speed tie. No, you won't cry. Ooh, I see you crying in the corner there. No, don't hide from me. I know you're crying because you lost against the awesomeness of Hardhead. Joanna has a Goldeen. And uh, I'm not really too worried about Goldeen because Goldeen probably doesn't have any water attacks at this point of the game. So it's a supersonic me, which is really annoying. And of course, Hardhead uses something confusion or herself because it's a female. And I don't use myself in confusion and get off another headbutt. It's going to tail with me. And I snap out of confusion and get off a headbutt. And that takes out Goldeen. Which is nice. That's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Let's see. I've I'm the owner of Seashore, seashore House. Heart burns out. Yeah, if you defeat uh, all these trainers in here, you'll get a little prize. Find no harder trainer than me, baby. Yarg. See, you're in the seven seas, Yarg. You have a Wingle, Yarg. And I have Hardhead, Yarg. And of course, it's going to uh, confuse me with Supersonic. But I don't need myself a confusion, and I'm going to take out the Wingle with Headbutt. And I don't really feel like staying on a matchup with uh, Hardhead, so I'm just going to bring in Kaji. And go for a Dolph Kick, that's like a 20 KO, yes it is. Excellent work, Kaji. And Hardhead go to level 14. And our comes a tentacle. Just going to bring in Hardhead. Because Hardhead is going so is doing some awesome stuff in this episode because yeah. Finally she's doing something. Yeah, the feed dead trainer. Joy hot battles and some soda pops. Okay, you're scorching hot, there's battles blaze! Yeah, it's better place because of Hardhead. So yeah, you receive half a dozen soda pop, which is just really great because I think they were so like 68 feet or something. But now it's Lightport City. Ooh, I'm just going to stay in line here. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's going to take too long. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.